A. Travel blog. 1. Vocabulary in context. A. Look at the pictures. What can you guess about Rob's trip? Then read the blog and check your guesses. Rob's Amazon travel blog. Days 21 and 22. Bolivia to Rodinabaque via La Paz. The first views of La Paz were amazing. Impressive downtown buildings surrounded by vast suburbs climbing up breathtaking mountains. The trip was fascinating but tiring. I slept well that night. The next morning, I asked about travel to Rodinabaque, gateway to the Amazon basin. The tour agent informed me that the last bus had left. She also said the trip would take an exhausting 18 hours or more by bus. A depressing thought. So I opted to fly despite the cost. I called the airport. They said all the flights that day were full. They told me there were seats on the 6 a.m. flight the next day, which meant getting up at 4 a.m. So I went to the airport the following morning. I was puzzled that only a handful of people were checking in, which was surprising since Rodinabaque is a popular destination. I soon discovered why. The check-in agent explained that the plane was just a 16-seater, a frightening prospect. Then she said there might be a delay because of bad weather, which wasn't very encouraging. In the end, the flight was on time, though I have to say it was pretty challenging. The pilot warned us that the landing would be really bumpy, and it was. Actually, it was terrifying. I was just happy to get there safely, and I felt much more relaxed in the evening. It was the start of my Amazon adventure. All right, guys. What happened? No idea? Mm -hmm. I think he asked about travel to Rena Re Ru Renavac. He asked to what? He asked about. To travel? He asked about the travel. Traveling? To Rurrenabaque. Okay. What else? Uh, um, that is a popular destination. Is that what happened? That Can you tell me? Rurrenabaque. Yes. Is a popular destination? That's not something that happened. That's a fact. For example, uh. if I say picaditas are delicious, is that an event? Is that something that happened? No. No, that's no. a fact. That's information. So that's, that's not the correct sentence. What happened? Mm. Would you like to listen again, guys? Please. Yeah, let's listen again. Okay, ready? Ready. Page 106. Unit 10. Going places. Places. Lesson A. Travel blog. 1. Vocabulary in context. A. Look at the pictures. What can you guess about Rob's trip? Then read the blog and check your guesses. Rob's Amazon travel blog. Days 21 and 22. Bolivia to Rodinabaque via La Paz. The first views of La Paz were amazing. Impressive downtown buildings surrounded by vast suburbs climbing up breathtaking mountains. The trip was fascinating but tiring. I slept well that night. The next morning, I asked about travel to Rodinabaque, gateway to the Amazon basin. 
The tour agent informed me that the last bus had left. She also said the trip would take an exhausting 18 hours or more by bus. A depressing thought. So I opted to fly despite the cost. I called the airport. They said all the flights that day were full. They told me there were seats on the 6 a.m. flight the next day, which meant getting up at 4 a.m. So I went to the airport the following morning. I was puzzled that only a handful of people were checking in, which was surprising since Rodenabake is a popular destination. I soon discovered why. The check-in agent explained that the plane was just a 16-seater, a frightening prospect. Then she said there might be a delay because of bad weather, which wasn't very encouraging. In the end, the flight was on time, though I have to say it was pretty challenging. The pilot warned us that the landing would be really bumpy, and it was. Actually, it was terrifying. I was just happy to get there safely, and I felt much more relaxed in the evening. It was the start of my Amazon adventure. All right, guys. So what happened? He said the... Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Jackie, <laughs> he had problems with his flight because all the flights was full, were full. I'm sorry, Jackie, could you repeat your sentence, please? Yes, he had problems with the flight because all the flights were full. The problems with the flight because all the flights were full. Is that what you say? Yes. Okay. Is there another event? Uh, he said that the trip was tired. Um, and the last bus to Renavake <laughs> leaves him. <laughs> uh -huh. Leaves him. Left him. Left him, sorry. Are we talking about the present or the past? Past. Past is left him. Left him. Yeah. All right. Is there something else? The trip uh, uh, to Renavake by bus is 18 hours. The trip was what? How many hours? To Renavake. Uh -huh, the trip. Uh, was 18 hours. 18 hours? I like think that. so. Okay. Perfect now. And open your books in page 106. Okay. And let's look for the, uh, the, the answers. The I'm trying to play the audio again, guys, for you. Page 106. Unit 10. Going places. Lesson A. Travel blog. 1. Vocabulary in context. A. Look at the pictures. What can you guess about Rob's trip? Then read the blog and check your guesses. Rob's Amazon travel blog. Days 21 and 22. Bolivia to Rodinabaque via La Paz. The first views of La Paz were amazing. Impressive downtown buildings surrounded by vast suburbs climbing up breathtaking mountains. The trip was fascinating but tiring. I slept well that night. 
The next morning, I asked about travel to Rurinabake, gateway to the Amazon basin. The tour agent informed me that the last bus had left. She also said the trip would take an exhausting 18 hours or more by bus. A depressing thought, so I opted to fly despite the cost. I called the airport. They said all the flights that day were full. They told me there were seats on the 6 a.m. flight the next day, which meant getting up at 4 a.m. So I went to the airport the following morning. I was puzzled that only a handful of people were checking in, which was surprising, since Rodenabake is a popular destination. I soon discovered why. The check-in agent explained that the plane was just a 16-seater, a frightening prospect. Then she said there might be a delay because of bad weather, which wasn't very encouraging. In the end, the flight was on time, though I have to say it was pretty challenging. The pilot warned us that the landing would be really bumpy, and it was. Actually, it was terrifying. I was just happy to get there safely, and I felt much more relaxed in the evening. It was the start of my Amazon adventure. Great, guys. So what I have here, on the first line you said over here, he got to know new places. Is that what happened? Yes, he knows La Paz. Yes. He got to know new places, right? Yeah. Correct. What about okay. flu? Is that what happened? He flew? I don't know. Yes, he flew. Yes. Uh, <laughs> yes. What about he got lost? In a, yeah. He got lost. Where? No, no, he nope. didn't get lost. Right. Now, he has spent many days there. Does the article say that? Only no. two. Huh? It doesn't say, right? It, the information is not in, in the story. In the story, no. He enjoyed different foods. So? No, it's not there. No. He discovered delicious food? No. No. <laughs> no. What about the other ones? He asked about traveling to Rurrenabaque. Yeah? Yes. Yes. You yes. got problems with the flight? Yeah. Okay, he had problems with the flight. Okay. Mm -hmm. The trip was tired. Is that is that correct? Yes. It no. says tiring. That's correct. The trip was tiring. That is correct. The trip was tiring. Tiring. And the last bus to Runanabake left him. Is that correct? Yeah. Nope. The bus left. But didn't leave The him last before. bus has left. He didn't buy a ticket. So oh. he didn't buy a ticket. The bus didn't leave him. The bus just left. Okay. Yes? Very good. Now, please, guys, let's practice the reading. Okay. Let's begin with uh, first honey. All the way to the first period, right here. Okay. okay. After that, Begin Lauren. Okay. After Lauren, Ismael. And after Ismael, Jackie. And then we we'll begin again, please. Okay. Okay. The first views of La Paz were amazing. Impressive downtown buildings surrounded by bus suburbs climbing up, climbing up breaking, no, breathtaking mountains. 
The trip was fascinating but tiring. I slept well that that night. Ismael? You want to tell? Oh, okay. Um, and the next morning I asked, the next morning I asked about travel to, to Renabaca, Renabaca, Gateway to the Amazon Basin. Oh, the, wait, 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 right there. Jackie, next please. The tour again informed me that the last bus had left. Excellent. We repeat again, please. She also said the trip would take an exhausting 18 hours or more by bus at the present thought. So I opted, I opted. Yeah. To fly despite the cost. I called the airport. They said all the flights that day were full. Ismael? They told me there were seats at the 6 a.m. flights the next day, which meant getting up 4 a.m. Jackie? So I went to the airport the following morning. I was puzzled that only a handful of people were checking it, which was surprising since Rurrenabaque is a, popul a popular destination. I soon discovered why. They checked in and you explained it that the plane was used as 16th cedar of five five turning prospect jackie jackie jacqueline all right, can you continue, uh, Annie, please? Yes. Yeah. Then she said there might be a delay because of bad weather. Weather. Which was weather, which wasn't very encouraging. Oh, another period right there. Lauren, continue, please. In the end, the flight was on time, but I have to say it was pretty challenging. Ismael? The pilot warned us that the landing would be really bumpy, and it was actually it was arriving. Right there, Annie, continue. I was just happy to get there safely, and I felt much more relaxed in the evening. Lauren. Oh my gosh, I lost my voice. The last one. It was. Oh. It was the start of my Amazon adventure. Perfect, guys. Now, what was the first thing he saw on his trip? Impressive downtown. Okay. Buildings surrounding buildings. Yes, there you go. Okay. What did he do the following day? Uh, he asked about travel to Rurrenabaque. Yes, that's right. What is Rurrenabaque? A popular destination. Yes, it's a popular destination. What else is Rurrenabaque? Here's the answer. What is Rurrenabaque? Amazon Basin. Gateway. Gateway. Gateway to the Amazon Basin. Okay. 
uh, why didn't he go by bus? Did he go by bus? No. No. Why? The last bus had left. Why didn't he go on the next bus the next morning? Mm, because uh, they say all the flights that they were full. No. Why didn't he go by bus the next morning? Oh. Because it would take an exhausting 18 hours. Because the trip would take 18 hours. Was that okay with him, 18 hours? No. no. What, how was it for him? And the Depressing, right? So what did he decide to do? Um, to travel by plane, fly. Yeah. So he opted to fly, right? Opted is a verb about option, mm -hmm. option, okay? That's the verb, opted. Now, what time was the first flight? Six a.m. next day. Six a.m., yes. How long did it take him to go from his where he stayed to the uh, airport? Four a.m. Yeah, but how long did it take? From the state to the airport. How long? How long? Two hours. Two hours. Maybe two hours, right? Maybe. Uh, what did he feel when he got to the airport? He was puzzled. Puzzled. And? Puzzled. And? Surprising? Surprising or surprised? Surprised. Surprised, right? He was surprised. Yes. Why were there only a handful of people for the flight? Because the plane was just a 16-seater. What is that, a 16-seater? Only 16 seats airplane. That's what it is. The plane only had 16 seats. Okay. Yes? Yes. What did he feel when he saw the plane? When he saw the plane, what did he feel? Frightening prospect. Frightening or frightened? Frightened. Frightened, that's right. Frightened. frightened. Okay. Why would there be um, a possible delay? Uh, bad weather. Or bad weather. Because of bad weather. And how was the flight? The flight was on time. Yes, but how was the flight? How was it? Was it, it nice was 
very, very challenging. Challenge. No. No. Really no. bumpy. Really bumpy. And, and it was terrifying. 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 Okay. Terrifying. Here we go. Okay. Why did he relax? Why did he feel relaxed? Mm, she, he, wa he was happy to get there. Um, because it was the start of his Amazon adventure. Okay. Can you read please, Ismail, the instructions? Yeah, answer the questions. Underline the words in the blog that give you answers. When did Rob feel a tired? Tired. B. Uh, I tired. B. Tired. Depressed. C. Surprised. D. Terrified. First, let's go with A. When did Bob feel tired? The trip was fascinating, but trying. Tiring. Tiring. Yes. But the reason is when did drop? When? The question is when. Ah, when. When he was on the trip? Nope. In La Paz? Before or after the trip? After the trip. After the trip, yes. What trip? Oh. After the trip to? La Paz. La Paz. When did he feel depressed? Where, when, when the uh, agent informed him? That the tree would take uh, 18 hours or more? Yes, that's that's correct. So the question is, when did Rob feel depressed? When the agent informed him that the trip will take an exhausting 18 hours or more by bus. Yes, yes guys? Yes. Very good. And the next one. When did he feel surprised? When, when he This. When he discovered okay. the, huh? yeah, continue. When he discovered that the plane was just a sixteen seater. No. Nope. No. That only a handful of people were checking in. Yes. When he discovered that only a handful of people. We're checking in. Perfect, Lauren. Good job. Jackie and Ismail, are you there? Yes. Okay. And the last one. When did he feel terrified?
when the pilot warned us that they landing. What? When the pilot warned us that the landing would be really bumpy. When the pilot warned them, no, nope, that's not the that's not the moment. When when the, the when the plane be really bumpy landed was no when the plane landed. When no, uh... because it was really bumpy. Yes. yes. All right, now let's go for the next one before you fall asleep. Me too. Can you read, Jackie, please? Make a chart like this of an, the adjective involved in the blog. Add the other adjective and verb forms. Okay. Let's highlight all the adjectives in bold. Here, out of these three, which one is an adjective? Amazing. Amazing. Amazing only. Impressive. Okay. Fascinating. Impressive. Tiring, exhausting, depressing. All of them. All of them in, oh. involved. How many are there? Frightening. How many? 13. Five, relax. 13. 13. Go ahead, open your notebooks and write the 13 adjectives and write a chart like this. You feel oh amazed because something is amazing and the verb is amaze. Yes. And let's write all of them, please. The, all the 13 words. How are you doing, guys? The verb is also. also. Okay. Surprise. Surprise. Set. Or 
you feel surprised? Okay. Uh, like that, right? Yeah. Because surprising. something surprising, yeah. Yeah. Surprising. And the verb is surprise. Surprise. Uh, do you agree? Yes. Yes. Okay. And frightening? Frightened. Frightened. Oh my God. Right. Right. Yeah. Like that. Right. Is that correct? Yes. Yes. Uh, Fragmenty? Fragmenty, oh my God. Fragmenty and the verb. The verb? I don't know. Right. Right. Mm, fright. I think so. Mm. Do you agree? I think so. Fright. I don't know. know. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And Oh. Encouraging, encouraging, encourage, encourage, yes, encourage, 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 encouraging. encouraging. And the bird. And courage. And courage. And courage. Oh, yeah. And courage. Okay. Challenge it. Challenge. Challenge. <laughs> Challenge. <laughs> Challenge. Oh, Challenging. Yeah, challenging. Yes, challenging. Challenging. Okay. Mm -hmm. Challenge. Terrified? 
There we go. Can you do it or you can't do it? I can grade it. No, it's okay. Do it up here where uh, a maze is. Let's erase oh. it because this is in your book already, so you don't need it. Okay. Here we five. Terrifying? Uh huh. Yeah. Terrifying. 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 Um. Oh my God! The boys. A verb. Terror? Terrified? I don't know. Maybe what terrified? Do you, what do you think, Jackie? <laughs> terror? Terror. Is terror? Ter terrific? Terrified. Terrified. With with uh, <laughs> J, terrified. With J? Yes. So, terrifying, terrified is the verb. No. Terry. <laughs> How? I don't know. How? Verify with T E double R I F I E? Or how? I think it's terror, but I don't know. All right. Just write it however you can, yeah. Mm. I think it's terror. All right, now let's check. There we find. Oh. I don't know. <laughs> there are your answers. Oh, terrify. Terrify. Yes, F Y. And the, the last letter Y. One is incomplete. Only one. Everything else is good except one. Can you find it? Terror? No. Besides that one. Terror is, is correct, is the verb. No. Terror. It's not a verb. No. It's terrify. Terrify. I'm sorry. One is incomplete. Can you find it? No. Um. Relax. Relax. Complete, relax, relaxing, yep. and relax. Brighten. Brighten. Brighten, that's the verb. Brighten. <gasps> this oh. is a noun. Oh. Brighten. Just like terror. Terror is a noun. But everything else was perfect. Now, open your books, please. Page 115, please. Tell me what you see. 
Vocabulary notebook. Vocabulary notebook. Continue reading, please. So amazing. Amazing. Can you please read, Jackie? Uh, learning tips. Word words. When you what? learn a new word words. Word words. What are they? What's a fork? The picture? Yes, that's a fork. And he's telling us word forks. What is that word fork? Do you know how the fork, this fork has one main body and then it has four branches. Yes? Oh. Look at the fork. Yeah, from one it goes many things. That's a fork. Now a word fork is telling you right here, the main word, and then the different forms. Oh. Where adjective, adjective, and noun. Can you read, please, Ismail? Uh, when you learn a new word, find other words in the same word family. For example, the nouns, verbs, adjectives, make word forks. You can add example sentences. Yes, another, another example. Okay, let's use the word. Worried. If I use the word worry, what is the verb? To worry. What is the adjective? Worried. The other adjective? Worrying. Worrying. And the noun. Warrior. Nope, worry. Huh? Yeah, that's what we have. Next. Can you read, Andy, please, the instructions? Complete the word forks with the verb and adjective forms. Perfect. Number one. Amaze. Amaze. Verb, when I arrived, the city amazed me. Next, the architecture was? Now? Nope. Adjective. Adjective. Amazed. And how do you complete the sentence? The architecture was? Amazed. Amazing. Amazing. And adjective, I was? Amazed. Yes. Amazed when I saw the buildings. Let's go for the next one. Number two. Fascinated? Yes, fascinated. Next. Fascinating? Yes. And the last, the next one. Uh, 
attitude. Adjective and continue the sentence. The Norway. Fascinated. Fascinate. No. Nope. There. Now the rest is homework. Okay. Do number three and four as homework in your books. Okay. Guys. <laughs> The verb and adjective is the same word, fascinated. It depends. How, In this case. Is, what is it? In which one? Number one, two, or three? Number two. Number two? Now, inside number two. Um, uh, one, two, or three. Which one, Lauren? One. Number one? Perfect. Per Verb. Now, Rome has. has always fascinated. Oh, yes. Is that a verb? Fascinated or... me. It's a verb, right? Yes. Perfect. The rest is homework, guys. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the next numbers, the next exercises as well. Letter B, think of trips you have made and use your own ideas to create word works for these verbs. Depress, encourage, relax, and exhaust. Okay. 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 All right, that's homework. Now let's go back to page 106. 106, please. Are you there? Yes. What page, teacher? 106. Okay. Now, on the last part of your of the page, can you read, please, uh, Ismail? Yeah. Uh, talk about travel experience to have the hat half hat. Take turns using words from your chat. There you go. Example, Jackie, please. I flew in bad weather once. It was pretty frightening. Actually, I was terrified. Perfect. Now, all you have to do is talk about your travel experiences using these words and the words in the chart okay terrified surprised tired all of this okay who wants to go first mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God, why? When I was, oh, okay. Mm, two years ago, my boyfriend and I uh, went to Tasco and oh my God. Uh, it was, well, I, it was amazing. Oh, well, I, we feel amazed because that place is amazing. Okay. Um, Very nice. Oh, you have more? Continue. Oh, actually, uh, we were, we were, no, we were amazed. 
Is that correct, teacher? Yes. Uh, so okay. far, yes, but you need to finish the sentence before I can tell you if it's correct or not. Complete we sentence. we were amazed about all the people and the houses. It was amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Good, it was amazing is correct, but we were amazed at the place and the people. Oh, okay. Okay, who's next? Lauren, Lauren. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I don't know. I... Jackie, help me. Yes, Jackie, please help. Um, my mom was driving amazing when suddenly she stopped. Hold, hold on a second. Can you repeat again? Yes. My mom was driving amazing okay. when suddenly she stopped and we see, we saw a uh, how do you say venado? A deer? Deer. deer. Well, your mom was driving amazingly. Amazingly? Okay. Uh huh. When suddenly we saw a. A deer. A deer. <laughs> yes. And I was fascinated. <laughs> Very good. Very good, honey. Thank you. Ismael, can you give us your experience? Well, Ismael is not responding. Lauren, can you try? I I was relaxed on weekend. I think it's very necessary, very necessary to take a relax. Uh, and um, In my family, I don't know how to use relaxing. Like that, you said it's good to take a relaxing, a relaxing what? It's good to take a relaxing activity. No, to, no. Take, to take, not to do. Ah, to take and a relaxing
Massage. Ah, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you. Uh, Ismael, are you having problems with your internet, son? Yeah, I don't hear it. Not so. Yes, I noticed. Okay. Now, let's go to grammar. Guys, reporting what people say. Read the things below that people said to Rob. Write how he reports them in his blog. How are the reports different from the words the people actually used? Number one, there are seats on the six o'clock a.m. flight tomorrow. How did the did Rob said this say these things? How did he report them? They told me there were seats on the six a.m. flight. Can you write Next it? Day. Can no, write it? I can do it. <laughs> Honey, can you yes. help me? <laughs> what, about you? what about you, Jackie? Yes, I do number two. Yeah, please. And you know why? Yes, how do you say? What did you say? Sorry. There were there were seats on the there six were. there were seats on the six AM fly the next day. There were seats. On the 6 a.m. On the 6 a.m. Flight. Flight. The next day. The next day. Like that? Yes. Okay. Then we're six. Perfect. What about you, uh, Jackie? Well, I I don't know. Annie, you're using your cell phone? Yeah. <laughs> what is this? The tablet. I saw pencil books. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, Isn't this pencil? Were you annotate? Mm. Mm. Then she said there might be a delay. Yeah? Yes, might be. Might is the change for me. But there might be a delay. There maybe there might might, might there might be a delay. There might be a delay. Okay. There might be a delay, yes. Perfect, guys. Excellent. Well done. That is correct. And uh, that's how we have report. Okay. What we have first is the statements. When you report things people said in the past, the verb tense often shift back. What does shift back means? It means move one moves one place. Example, the plane's just a 16-seater. The agent explained that the plane, check how it goes from the verb V, is, changes to was, just a 16-seater. 
the last bus has left. This is present perfect. She informed me that the last bus had left. We changed. That's perfect. That's perfect. Yes. That's what we have here, guys. And we have all the tenses. We have present simple, present continuous, present perfect, past simple, will, can, may, and must. You can take a picture if you want to and check how this one she always wears. It changes to she always wore. I'm looking for. Changes to she was looking for. Perfect. She has written. It changes to past perfect. She had written. Simple past. My friend gave. Past perfect. His friend had given. Okay, I'm gonna change with the other end, I guess. And will changes to would. 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 Can changes to could. Good. May changes to might. might. And must changes to have to. Have to. Yes. Oh, it's new for me. Have to. Yes. Yes, Jackie? Now, yes. there are more of this, but we are finished for today. Okay. What do you think of the class, guys? I enjoyed it, class. Yes, it was interesting. Yes. And we didn't finish. Look, I have all of these examples for you, but I think you got it, right? Is this easy or is it difficult? Mm. Easy. Easy, perfect. Easy. Okay, tomorrow we'll continue and we'll finish this, okay? Yes. Okay. Excellent, guys. Now, I hope you enjoyed the class. Yeah. Yeah. What yeah. was the class about today? Mm. It was interesting. Yeah, but what was it about? Mm. Travel. What, Jackie? Travel. 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 Yes, travel. What else? Word. Uh, word forks. Word forks. Yeah. Word forks. Yes. Yeah. yes. And what else? Reported speech. <laughs> what? Reported speech. Reported speech. There you go. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. Do you have any questions? No. Great. Well, thank you. There is no homework for right now. We'll continue and finish tomorrow, okay? Thank you, teacher. Thank you, guys. Thank you. I'll see you tomorrow. See Bye, you, guys. Teacher. See Bye. you. Bye. Bye, Jackie, Lauren, Annie. Bye, teacher. Bye.